Hi everybody, Dr. Daniel, and today I'm talking about footballers migraine. And this is a group of usually juveniles who've had mild bump on their head, like trauma from playing soccer. We're talking about football there. We're talking about European football, but not American football. We're talking about soccer, really. And these are people really who've had migraine with heart type attacks. So they get a bump on their head, um, like a soccer ball hitting them, or maybe bumping bopping down and hitting their head on the ground or something playing or running playing soccer and then after that they may have a headache which is a typical migraine headache type thing with one-sided headache severe social with nausea vomiting throbbing sensitivity light and sound and they also also have migraine aura type symptoms of visual attacks of seeing spots and holes or zigzaggy lines that move and they may have numbness and tingling starting on one limb like on the fingers, most goes to the forearm, goes to the face and cheek and tongue on one side. And rare patients have had trouble talking. I think the earliest attack that I found in the literature was Haas and Slavner writing in 1969 about, and I'm just going to read from their article, migraine attacks triggered by mild headache trauma and the relation to certain post-traumatic disorders of childhood reporting in children. They had leg weakness or hemiparesis, slurred or garbled speech vigorous paresthesia, lethargy, or sleepiness, and vomiting. And then Dr. Matthew had a big article in 1972, and all his patients had visual symptoms and migrinous paresthesia followed by a headache. But one case three, he had had difficulty terrible talking as part of the problem. In 1972, Haas, that's H-A-A-S et al, reported a case. I'm going to read you about this a case with hemiparesis. On June 1st, 1972, a 14-year-old boy was struck forcefully on the right side of his head by a large rubber ball. Could be a soccer ball, I guess. Moments later, he noticed difficulty seeing in the right visual field. Severe left posterior cerebral headache began in 30 minutes. One hour later, he experienced fluctuating numbness in the right side of his face, arm, and leg, vomiting and trouble speaking. Several hours after the trauma, Examination at the hospital revealed mild dysphagia, right homonymous hemianopsia, and mild right hemiparesis. A few hours later, the visual feed defect and the hemiparesis disappeared, and the next day the dysphagia headache went away. He had had four similar previous episodes following this, and the first was at age 11. So the earlier writers on this were stuck in the old trigeminal vascular theory of migraine, which is now uh, sort of foregone as an explanation of what caused it. Nowadays, uh, it is thought that this is cortical spreading depression, which is like what is thought to occur with migraine. This is Dr. Liao's event where a spreading wave of depolarization of glial and uh, neuronal uh, structures occurs, uh, spreading usually from the occipital lobe backwards uh, forward to the parietal area of the brain, forward in the brain. And then after that, it resets, causing the symptoms. The treatment would be just like any other advice a doctor gives of a patient to avoid head injuries to play in football or soccer or things like that, and you treat it with just like regular migraine. You can use tryptans and other drugs like that. So I hope this is helpful to you. Uh, please click on subscribe down there. Uh, Footballers Migraine. I'll see you again on the next talk.